Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are in Berlin and we will do a Berlin in four hours tour. About five years ago I posted a blog on my theviennablog.com about top things to do in four hours. Today I will make a video and uh, the tour is the following. Um, we will go and visit the places of the Potsdamer Platz, then we will visit uh, the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin. Uh, afterwards, I'll show you the famous uh, Brandenburg Gate. Then we go to the Gendarmenmark in Berlin, the Friedrichstraße. I will also uh, link to my blog post. Uh, there is also there a Google Maps uh, map uh, where, if you want, you can uh, have a look and uh, see the different places and download the, the map and then you can uh, have the same four hours tour one final hint and um, what you can do is you can rent a bike i have uh, posted a video and a blog post about next bike which has been introduced about a month or two months ago in vienna and with the same app you can also rent bikes in 27 countries including Berlin and as you can see I'll show you I rented that bike about an half an hour ago it was done with the same app very easily scan the QR code and uh, I would say without further ado um, let me show you Berlin in four hours. So again, welcome, as said. Uh, the trip will start at the Alexanderplatz. So this is the red townhouse. And uh, if we move a little bit, we'll see the famous Funkturm. It's a beautiful sunny day. Today is June the first and we have a 360 view of the Alexanderplatz. It's morning, it's around 9 o'clock so people start getting to work. It's not usually business in the morning in that place uh, but I'm sure we'll have a wonderful uh, time getting around Berlin. So here we are at the Berliner Dom uh, and this is the river Spree Spree we call it and um, actually another iconic place for photography uh, this is a nice angle uh, but if we have a look a little bit to the right on this bridge I think there is a more nicer place for photography so let's go there and have a look how that view works out for a nice picture of the Berliner Dome. So here we are and as promised uh, this is uh, the photo place on the bridge and you can see uh, the angle is fantastic and even the mirroring in the spray makes a perfect picture. If I turn it around I think this would be great for Instagram so make sure when you visit um, Berlin and you want to make nice pictures the Berliner Dome from these two angles which I showed you uh, is in your portfolio. Another very photogenic spot is the old National Gallery uh, and you can see uh, I think it's perfect also for selfies uh, it's on the other side of the bridge where I just made pictures it's not allowed to go there by bicycle so I will turn a little bit on the other side so show you the other uh, area so again here the Berliner Dome and uh, there's a lot of bicycles 
in the city. I think people really use that uh, getting to work for another view of, of the the art gallery. So when you are here, I think it's worth visiting so you see people have a good time here. And uh, okay, let us turn a little bit around and go to the other side. get a little bit windy now have a look at the church from the other side Another very <coughs> photogenic angle is when you head into the park and you make a picture. And I remember five years ago I took a picture with left and right uh, under the trees so have you have a beautiful framing so let's go there and see if that picturesque place still holds the promises like five years ago so let's turn around and I can say yes, definitely. So I'll have a picture and then insert it to the video. So with that fantastic uh, view, we'll. continue our ride through that area so a few people are also relaxing reading books with the Kindle also people taking photographs this guy, this dude has a real wide angle Tele. So we just arrived at the famous street Unter den Linden. Uh, you see it's a busy road so I tried a little bit not to come too close that you still hear me. Um, and at the end of the road we will be at the Brandenburger Gate, the Brandenburger Tor. So we still nice weather but a little bit windy but I'm sure you will enjoy this area 
and uh, Berlin with approximately 3.6 million inhabitants as you know the history it has been divided until 1989 still remember uh, the teardown of the Berlin Wall was such a magnificent moment watching on TV people getting on the other side so we're on the other we were just crossing the street I had to wait a little bit so Square. So this is the Juristische Fakultät. So probably this university part here in Berlin. This is a table place. Here you see a lot of people looking here and we're just heading now to the Gendarmen place <coughs> it must be somewhere on the on the left side ah here we go Also in Berlin you have to be very carefully riding with a bicycle there are cars, e-scooters, pedestrians, other bicycles so watch out if you rent a bike here and stay safe you see that guy so it's really going I think it's not the worst traffic city but still we have to be careful as people so here we go now at, we are at the Gendarme Mark also iconic place for photography we will head to the middle of the square so we have a good angle for our photo photos on Instagram, Facebook wherever you wanna put them so I think that people in the morning are still looking a little bit grumpy maybe they miss a little bit of coffee and then things should or could bet get a little bit better so here we go at the middle of the place on the statute I'll park my bicycle and you can see now the photo spots uh, one obviously that the link we're gonna take a couple of shoots and I think here in the middle you have that straight line you can either take it here or here I think that's a perfect spot and once you turn around you can either include the statute on the right side or let's say go a little bit more here look again at the leading line and turn it around I think there's a couple of nice shots you can uh, do here at the Kedamen 
Auckland. So, this is the famous Mall of Berlin. So, whether the beginning of the tour or the end of the tour, um, you want to go shopping, I uh, want to have a coffee, ice cream, I think it's a good place uh, to start or to finish the tour. As you can see, that square is nice for photography. So let's head to the Potsdamer Platz, which is around the corner. So in about a couple of seconds, we will arrive the famous Potsdamer Platz. So I just thought it's good if you experience how to enter that place. You see. As always in Berlin, in many many places along the former Berlin Wall, you see places make you guy and uh, areas which remind you how they built the Berlin Wall how people were living and coping in that area so Berlin was really cut in half so to say and you see here always pictures and photos of that area here I will sit down you see the the famous checkpoint Charlie uh, pictures just before the fall of the Berlin Wall historic photos of the Potsdamer Platz how it looked before so you see this was 1977 and this 2004 That's, I think, part of a big part of Berlin, the Berlin Wall, and should be always remembered how Berlin was divided and how Berlin evolved during the centuries. So It's worth to have a look at that one and see this is historic map uh, how the Berlin Wall looked like. So this is Berlin West. So this is the western part which has the wall and this was Berlin. Give you some facts. The wall of uh, Berlin for almost uh, 30 years had a total length of 160 kilometers. Of these, 45 kilometers separated the west from the east part of the city while a stretch of 115 kilometers cut off completely from the neighboring land of Brandenburg. Oh, that's, that's a nice
Das ist der Bahnhof Potsdamer Platz. Und I show you now the photography spot. So this uh, we have to go on that area in the middle. So let's have a walk. And from that you can have the nicest spot for photography. So here we are in the middle. You can see also here. This is called Boulevards of the Stars. So we are here. I will have a link uh, the local movie stars which have been honored here on the Potsdamer Street all the nice place capturing pictures Potsdamer Platz and uh, the Ritz Carlton Hotel in the back and you have that angle and that angle so this is the Potsdamer Platz in the back here is the Mall of Berlin and uh, here we go that street we'll head to the Brandenburger Gate and the uh, Holocaust Memorial. Let's take some pictures and I'll be back in a minute. We are here at the Holocaust Memorial. So it consists of 2,711 of these grey stones, and uh, this should remind us never forget uh, the horrific things which happened during the Holocaust. And I think it's a very, very touchy space. Uh, as you can see, you can walk through and uh, think about uh, the things which happened in the Holocaust. So it's definitely a must-see place when you are in Berlin. And uh, it is located between the Potsdamer Platz, where we have already been, and uh, the Brandenburger Gate. So when you are here, uh, you can walk through uh, this area. It seems very necessary to to come here when in Berlin. Seven hundred eleven gray rocks or stones. So, 
welcome back. We are now heading towards the Brandenburg Gate, so it's about five minutes walk, two minutes or even less, one minute uh, with the bicycle. Gate was part of the Berlin Wall. I will show you around and then afterwards let's talk a little bit about that place. So taking it's called place of the 18th of March. So let's see if there is some um, a nice photography spot here from that side, but you can make all the pictures from the other side. I said this is a beautiful view from that side. Well, now we'll go with a bicycle and I hope it gives a good impression. Yes, we can have a look of the Brandenburg Gate on the other side. So this is a quite touristy space. Everybody of course wants to make picture. Uh, especially from that side. So very hard to find during the day. The place. So people from all over the world. Of course, want to learn, want to have a look of that area. For me, it's just important that you've got a real, authentic. and experience of that place so when you are more into taking out pictures I would advise in the morning or probably also when the sun sets uh, hopefully there will be not that many people who can get a nice picture of that place. Let's take another round. So of course when you're in Berlin you need to take a couple of photos to find the okay. So, just to give you another impression, I'll take another tour through the Brandenburg Gate.
Berlin and these monuments you will always find places where more detailed information I will uh, link of course to a website or the wiki site where you can read the history Can I give it in actual? It was built in 1789 by Karl Gotthard Langhans. A long history. So now you say bye bye to the Brandenburger Gate and uh, so we're heading now towards the beautiful huge park and uh, that is a perfect center for recreation. Lots of nice beautiful parks here in Berlin so you can enjoy in, in spring, summertime, having a walk. It's a little bumpy now but you can see many many people. Especially there is a lot of groups of students um, from all over the world interesting in that Berlin monuments. So now we will go towards bit further this is the Berliner Reichstag quite a few people here but still worth a great photo I always have to go a little in the back keep your distance so I think that this enormous amount of people will not really disturb in your photos we'll take some pictures here Huge area.
called it public neighbor house you see you can also walk inside have a tour learn about the political systems the history so it's good also to have a look here Now we are at the Bundeskanzleramt. Currently we have the Chancellor Mr. Scholz uh, from the left wing. And uh, again, stunning architecture. And this area is beautiful from both sides. Also protected. As far as I've seen on Instagram, there is also a very nice view from the other side. Uh, I think it's close to the Spree River. So I'll try to to get there show you that place see. how that works out so this is the view Just a quick snapshot, a huge park coming from the Brandenburg Gate and the Parliament and also this is Berlin, you can have probably for hours walks through the park and as always some signs in case we're in danger to miss the place so we'll go towards this green alley mm -hmm. so it's like green flowers this first of June here and we're heading we're in Berlin and uh, we're heading towards the Sieger Säule. But before that, I think you don't want to miss that view of that area. So. So when you're with a bike, I highly advise you also if you need some some rest of this many many great impressions. Visit the park.
here we are. Ta-da! This is the secret island you can take a view with me. This great monument. You can here walk under and then down, 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 and then you come back up towards the Siege side. Again, here you can read close to the Berlin's victory column uh, all about the history of 1871. How it was constructed several times, it was rebuilt. So, all in history is convenient to read. It takes about five minutes, and then you learn all about the Berlin Siegesäule, or it's called Berlin Victory Column. Hello, I'm back at the Funktum here in Berlin and it's time for a wrap up and um, give you some recommendations. So the tour today started here at the Funkturm and uh, we went uh, to see uh, the most beautiful places. So the Potsdamer Platz, the Brandenburger Gate. Uh, I showed you also the Holocaust Memorial and uh, at, uh, when then we went to the Siegesäule and now it took me about two and a half hours uh, with my rental bike uh, so I said I rented it from the next bike Berlin uh, the next bike app you can download it it's very easy and then when you want to rent a bike you just scan it and um, off you go so the whole tour with a very feet probably will take you around four to five hours depending on your walking speed during the tour I also showed you the photogenic spots for example from the Berliner Dome there are a couple of angles uh, from the Spree River uh, you have um, the mirroring of uh, the Berliner Dome or from the other side you have the park and the trees so if you watch the, the video just give me the comment uh, below how you find, uh, find it valuable show you the, <coughs> the different photographic angles so now you would ask me would I recommend go either by bicycle or by foot so it, it has a different experience so a bicycle you surely um, can do it much quicker uh, but you are not always that deep experience for example at the holocaust memorial well i went there went there with a bike took about a couple of minutes but to go inside to really inhale uh, this monument so to say it's quite a different so you uh, when you went by feet I think uh, you have a little bit of deeper experience yes. um, on the other side if you go with a bicycle uh, in four hours you can go to many more places so it's a mixture so I today decided to go with a bicycle yes because of the beautiful weather 
and I think uh, especially taking that kind of videos uh, gives you a little bit faster experience although the video probably would last half an hour my summary about Berlin I think is a must uh, see place when you are in Europe one of the places like Paris like London Vienna Prague Budapest Madrid Rome and not to forget so these are the places you have to visit when you ask me what is the best time to visit I would say starting from April until end of September um, this is the best time because you have this blossom you have you can walk there it's not cold in the winter gets pretty cold uh, in that area uh, how you get there um, probably the best way is by plane they have a new airport Brandenburg Airport which is really nice um, um, experiences there's also the kind of high-speed trains the ICE uh, when you travel through Germany for example it takes you about I guess two and a half hours with a high-speed train from Hamburg to Berlin and then you can visit all the other uh, places there or alternatively with, with the plane with a car uh, yes sure but uh, within that city I would not recommend using your car yes I didn't see a lot of parking possibilities uh, through our walk uh, you're not allowed to park in many areas so it would make sense to take the, this um, experiences with the car uh, here in Berlin so if you like that video give me a thumbs up uh, and um, maybe you follow also the channel uh, there will be exciting destinations throughout the summer I have a long list of places to go uh, especially cities here in Europe and um, as I said the mission is always uh, to show you the most authentic experiences uh, of the city so when you, you want to know what's really walking through the streets plus and I am since many years uh, a very passionate photographer I'll show you all of these nice places uh, the nice angles so once you get here it's easier for you to navigate of course everybody ha has his own style of photography and that should that is perfect but uh, um, sometimes uh, you don't have that much time and sometimes two views or my views can add up to your views and it gives a nice uh, composition of the picture so Thank you very much for watching. Um, this was the tour uh, in Berlin, in, here in Germany. And uh, see you in one of the next videos. And if you want to be interested in Vienna and uh, Budapest and uh, that kind of experiences of other cities in the past, just look at my channel. So thank you. Bye bye.